the top story tonight, hazing allegations at Dearborn Ports in high school. And now, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy is pressing charges yeah. in this case. Sean Lay, live in Dearborn tonight with the newest information that's just been revealed in this case today. Sean. And Devin, at first, the district called this a case of hazing. Students feared it was a case of possible sexual assault. Well, tonight, the county prosecutor says it's assault and battery, and three kids have now been charged. Your children, not your name. Fordson students were outraged over the alleged attack of a 13-year-old freshman and furious that Dearborn schools called the incident hazing. Now the Wayne County prosecutor is calling what happened in the football locker room a criminal case of assault and battery, not hazing at all. They're just trying to sweep it under the rug and that's wrong. Prosecutors charging three sophomore JV football players, alleging that on October 9th, the three assaulted a freshman boy in the locker room. A spokesperson for the prosecutor saying, quote, during the assault, it is alleged that one of the sophomores exposed himself to the victim. It's shocking for that person. You know, this guy's going to have to live through that for the rest of his life. The district immediately removed the three accused from school and Dearborn police launched an investigation. Superintendent Dr. Glenn Maleko isn't talking about the charges today, but in a statement says all involved are minors and their identities must be protected, saying that not commenting today, quote, is in no way intended to be interpreted as defending, minimizing or attempting to hide the actions of the students involved. Dearborn attorney Magic Jid Mogni has been following the case closely. It appears that the charges are assault and battery, which is an unlawful touching, an unwanted touching by another individual. Those kind of charges carry as adults up to 90 days in jail. In this particular case, uh, the, uh, these are juveniles. The most they'll probably get is uh, detention. So back here live, all three charged today in juvenile court. All three are from Dearborn. They'll head back to court for a pretrial conference that'll happen on November 20th, Devin. What are the members of the football team, though, saying, Sean? Spoke to one right after school today. You know, Fortson, proud legacy of football here and Scholastics, of course. And they have a big game tonight against Cass Tech. But he says yeah. all that put aside, it's been devastating for that, you know, uh, proud football program they have here. He says he's never heard of anything like this happening before as long as he's been here. All right, Sean.